the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father, for the good morning. We thank you, Jehovah, for teaching us, holding our hands, and leading the way. May thy will and desire be done in our life, now and forevermore. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. Child of God, while mercies of God cleanses our life, our faith in God makes us whole. The mercy comes from God to heal us, to cleanse us. But it is our faith in God that makes us whole to unilateral divine forces that will make a man or a woman to come to testify and stand as a true ambassador of God. The book is Luke chapter 17. Luke chapter 17 it's talking about Jesus healing the ten lepers men. Ten men who are lepers. The Bible says, on his way to Jerusalem, that is Jesus, alongside his disciples, Jesus traveled in between the border of Samaria and Galilee. And he entered into a certain village. As <coughs> sorry, <coughs> he crosses through the village. Ten men with leprosy called. They stood at distance as the nature, as the policy. No leprous man would come closer and interact with the normal man. It was a contagious disease then and no one was allowed to come closer and so they stood at a distance and out of a loud voice they called Jesus master have mercy upon us have pity on us and with the mercy of God Jesus seeing them he told them go show yourself to the priests and they went and they were cleansed on the way. The pity of God, the mercy of God, which the lepers did call upon, have pity on us, have mercy on us, did heal them. Child of God, the mercies of God will always come closer and re respond to our petition before God. Whatever you ask of God will come to pass as long as you pray in truth and in spirit. I want to repeat this. Anything we call upon the name of God, remember Matthew chapter 18 verses 19 whenever two or more people come together to worship whatever they ask in the name of Jesus Christ shall be given for the glory of God so when the leprous men, ten of them call upon Jesus master have mercy upon us it was the pity they were seeking. Child of God, there is no man with a need whose pity of God will bypass. There is no person with any challenge in life that the mercies of God will pass if you ask for the mercy of God. This is the truth. But the difference is coming along. In verses 15, as they were going on, one of the lepers, after realizing that he was cleansed, he was healed, left the nine and ran back 
to Jesus, the healer. He went and bowed down with his forehead onto the foot of Jesus Christ, worshipping him. And Jesus said, he asked him, Were not all the ten lepers cleansed? Where are the nine? Where are the nine? As no one returned to give praise to God, except this foreigner, Jesus, in exclamation, said, Rise, go, your faith has made you well. Your faith has made you whole. So, what is coming at play, children of God, is after the healing of the body, there is our faith that will make us to be whole. There is the faith and coming to give praise to God, thanksgiving, prayer, to God after healing, after the success in the exam, after successful delivery of a bouncing baby boy or child, after a, a, a long struggle, then we come out successful, believing that God has listened to our prayer. Our text should be to go back and give praise to God, to thank God. This is a give back. God does not need our thanksgiving. But God, out of his own compassion, come to make friendship with a child who comes back to recognize, to worship him. Remember, in Exodus chapter 34, verses 14, I see God identifying himself. One of his names, the names of God, says, I am jealous. And the jealousy of God comes in the time of worship. Whoever comes to worship God in truth and in spirit, God will always focus on this child, focus on his role. Whoever worships God in truth and in spirit, remember the story of Ezekiah the king. He was sick and prophet Isaiah, God sent him, go tell Ezekiah, Put your house in order, for this disease is going to kill you. You are going to die. And immediately, Prophet Isaiah told Ezekiah, Put your house in order, because you are going to die, saith the Lord. Ezekiah turned against the wall, forgot about Isaiah, and only made a petition before God. Remember how I have worked with you. I have worshipped you. And Isaiah had to be turned around immediately before he could go far. Go tell him, I have given him 15 years. God loves a true worshiper. God loves a true worshiper. Not a circumvental worshiper. We come to God when we truly need healing. We come to God when we are truly yearning for deliverance. We come to God when we are completely rejected and dejected. And immediately the Lord delivers us. We go and we never remember to come back. The scripture is teaching us to know and to recognize that immediately we are healed. There is a step. After healing, coming to acknowledge God, to adore God, to thank God, that is the point. Out of the faith we have in God, it is the confirmation that we have faith in our healer. We have faith in God. Ezekiah, again, after being added 15 years, did not come back to recognize God. Instead, when friends came back who knew he was sick and wonder how comes what happened? Children of God, Ezekiah did not remember the favor that the Lord did him by adding in 15 years of healthy life. Instead, he only focused on his riches. 
This is what has always torn us apart with our maker. Christ asked, why you not ten? Where are the nine? Rise, go, for your faith has healed you. Child of God, our faith is what will make the mercy of God to dwell in us. The pity of God, the favor of the Lord will come to remove the diseases, to bring the peace we need in our family also, to bring the understanding among us to brethren, to bring the unity of purpose at workplace, in the churches, in the family, in the community, to bring a tranquilized understanding. But what will maintain it is our faith in God. Then God will make us whole. We will come one unit. The Bible says, Christ is the vine tree. And Father, who is God, is the gardener. We are the branches of the vine tree. We are one unilateral body of Christ. And every branch in me that bears good fruit, my Father will prove. In other words, we will be made perfect. We will be made whole to blossom in the glory of God. Children of God, our life is not whole because we've refused to come back to give praise to God. Our life is not well though we've been healed of diseases. But because of the absence of holiness, because of the absence of our connectivity with God, we are still in the position prone to the same diseases, prone to the same attack of the devil. Reason we have refused to go back like one out of the ten lepers. Rise, go, for your faith has made you old, has made you well. It will only be well with our soul if we give God a chance to control our life, to be in charge of our life. Everything that happens around and about our life, we will always give glory to God. We give praise to God. We give honor to God. It is not about your money or my money. It is about your education or my education. It is not about your wealth or my wealth. It is not about the community you come from. It is not about how, how, how connected you are. It's not about you are networking with political uh, staunch people. It is not about how long you've stayed in the church. It's not about how long you have preached. It's not about how well you know the Bible. It's not about how much you've recited and, and crammed the scriptures. It's not about how well you've delivered so many into the baptism, uh, into the church and now are living a Christian life, it is not about how our input is. Remember Romans chapter 9, verses 13 and 14. Paul is reminding Romans on what the message God gave to Moses to tell to Israelites. It is not how much we come before the Lord, but the humility. It is out of the compassion of God that he loved Jacob. Out of the same compassion that God decided to hate Esau. So the blessing that is coming to us is out of his own compassion. And we are trapped. The mercies of God that will bring us the healing, that will bring us the, the tranquility, that will bring us the understanding, that will bring us the success in life. And all these blessings shall stay with us as long as our connectivity with God is long-lasting and permanent in the divine realm. May the good Lord of heaven continue guiding and blessing us. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you, Jehovah Lord. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us and teaching us today that while the masses 
your own masses while well, you are on pity on the man and the woman you created in your own image brings about the cleansing of our heart the healing of our body it is the pity you have on man because you know that we are living in a doomed world father you have taught us in the open the eyes of our hearts to come to realize that all this masses that brings about healing all this love all this joy you comes about as a result of your masses all this success in life in education in a health in in, in economic world father will only be permanent and long lasting with us as long as our faith in you is being manifested by us coming to say thank you One leper came and said, "Thank you, Lord," in a loud voice. Arise, go, for your faith has healed you. So our faith has to come in conjunction with the mercy, power of healing of God, for it to be permanently healed. for us to be made whole in health for us to be made whole in economic world for us to be made whole in the social world for us to be made whole within the community for us to be made whole as a church of God for us to be made whole as your ambassadors as long as we are not whole as long as we are not well with you lord we'll only be getting short term healing short term peace so time understanding and thereafter we find ourselves back to square a thank you for your word we have a part to play in our divine life which we always pray and yearn for father you do not need the circumventor worship us if we would only be coming to worship you because of the blessings and not recognizing you in our life Father we have missed the mark. May you bless this son. May you bless this daughter of yours Lord. As you open the eyes of our heart and our mind. As you open the windows of our hearts. As you make us see with the inner eyesight and not the compound one. Father may you see the path the righteous path that we need to be walking in. Teach us to know how to pray. Thank you Lord for your presence in our life this morning. May thy will and wish continue to guide, continue to protect, continue to govern, continue to guide as you give us the direction, as you give us the lead in every pathway of life. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and believe. Amen. And amen. And amen. child of god masses of god cleanses our physical body but the spiritual body that god gave us is only made whole out of our faith in god nine lepers were healed in the body but the spiritual body was not whole was not healed one of them only was healed from the physical outside and spiritually from inside arise go for your faith has made you whole may our prayer this morning is that we are healed both spiritually inside and physically out may our desire not only for god to heal our pain from the physical body in the hospital bed in the psychology of men and women in the struggle for marriage in the struggle for children giving birth in the struggle for unity of brothers in the family in the struggle all the challenges that surround men may the good lord of heaven through his mercies heal us of that and we need to remember to go back to god so that we may get the spiritual holiness in Jesus name 
we pray and believe. Amen and amen. God bless you, children of God.